Inside the Hong Kong Football Club, a Texas Hong Kong Football Club. And there's a bit of shout support for the French already today. The Union, Bordeaux, Begel, Gavacal, ninth seeds, but uh, struggled yesterday. No time sheets, no, no team sheets, no schedules. We're working off yesterday's stuff. And some African team numbers would be useful. So, Hong Kong Football Club against Gavacal, and immediately the ball turned over by the football club. Spun wide, good drive through the center there. That was the big figure of Andy, Andrew Kelly, Scotsman playing amongst the Frenchmen. Good offload. And, uh, popped up there, Adam Butterfield tries to power through there. Recycle well. Number three there is the figure of. So now ball comes across. That's Pierce West. Good delivery. And Tom Jones. Ball pops through and it's picked up and a nice driving run there. Nicholas Chamonton. But again, sloppy handling and. Uh, both sides, Ben, struggling uh, to get a hold of this ball. Not as if it's a dew or a humidity that's going to be causing a problem. Just sloppy handling. The French recycling. Angus Cameron on that occasion, flipping it out. Great French name, that Angus Cameron. <laughs> and uh, the referee from Saudi Arabia is has pulled it up. And uh, with Nicolas Chamonteau at the bottom of that ruck. And um, a bit of a scrappy start to this one, Ben. Yeah, frantic stuff. Boy, the, the, just uh, just need to settle down and get you know go through the phases a bit. It's just all trying to make things happen too too quickly. I mean, there was just pr probably a forced kick there in the middle of the pitch by Adam Raby, but just need to calm down, get the ball through the hands, and um, get both teams need to work themselves into the game. I think. So West gets it wide. Good clearing kick there from Rousen and uh, Adam Raby, the main chaser for uh, football club. Picked up though, back by Chamonton and he loses, uh, loses control of the ball and the referee waves play on and we look as if it's uh, game on. Number Van De Vancouver in there as is uh, Benjamin Davy. And through the hands, number 14, Sebastian Alfonso playing against some of his, uh, his team his teammates on this occasion. And Gavacal looking to try and drive down that far side and the referee hands in the ruck on that occasion. And a penalty and a, the referee is wanting a word with uh, one of the uh, football club players. Not particularly happy with that, but uh, Gavacal taking the territory. And the Great opportunity here for uh, Gavacal. Just need to calm things down a bit, put put, some, put the ball through the hands and uh, play some, some phases. I think we, both teams just need to consolidate a little bit. So Gavacal inside the football club, 22, and uh, some stout defense. And looks as if the ball's been turned over on that occasion. Opportunity now running across field on that occasion, uh, Adam Butterfield, and he makes a bit of territory there, but it's uh, still, it's under a lot of pressure. Looks to kick long, that's gonna stay in touch. Alfonsi moving towards it, Adam Raby is there. And uh, it's in touch. And a bit of a respite for the Gavacal side. Quite a number of, uh, looks like football club players uh, also uh, guesting for Gavacal, I notice. Sebastian Alfonso out there, Alfonso out there and uh, one or two others. Uh, we also see one or two uh, well-known uh, figures, Hong Kong figures, some of the Valley players also uh, appearing. 
So a combination of French, Hong Kong's Champions Valley, and a bit of a, a rough exchange there between uh, Jacob Rungbull and uh, one of the Gavacal players. Alfonsi's held up, but it's been uh, offloaded in the, the mall there, flicked up, great bit of handling there by the, uh, the big figure of Andrew Kelly who has been prominent throughout and has a burst through the centre and an opportunity now, surely a score. And under the post, the first score well, is number 17, Four, Angus Sorry, Cameron, who was uh, featured uh, prominently for the Borneo Eagles last season in the last year's tournament. And on this occasion, that's a fine individual try. And... Uh, Advantage to the Gavacal. Uh, Gavacal is showing, showing their strength in, in the midfield and uh, putting up some uh, some some stern some stout defence there. The uh, football club boys, but just couldn't couldn't handle it in the end. Just a nice little burst out there by Angus Cameron and uh, to knock it down in the posts. Um, perhaps a uh, just a bit of a uh, you know, good to see the teams just going through the phases a little bit and actually consolidating a bit of possession, which has been a bit frantic uh, up until then. So, important now for the Texas Football Club side to get back into this. They were uh, ball semi-finalists and uh, went out uh, at the semi-final last time and will be looking to go further. Rumball putting his, uh, his large bulk across the Adam Raby, bursting away. Um, unfortunate there, he loses it forward in the, the contact, but the referee deciding no release of the tackler. And 12 is, is Rousen. Ryark? Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Interestingly, his team name is uh, Ryan Black here. <laughs> so we're having uh, one, or two, uh, one or two minor difficulties with numbers and, uh, and personnel, it, as happens in these tournaments. But this one is by far the best tens tournament in the world. The quality of the players. We have Nili Latu and uh, Tusi PC sitting just in front of us. It just shows the quality of uh, the performers that are uh, in this uh, tournament. And uh, Natixis looking for the first foray downfield here, opportunity here. Roman, sorry, it's, it's yeah, Rafael Carbello. Ball inside to Rarak, Rarak, good couple of steps, made space, another step. Looks as if he's in under the post, pulled down short. Opportunity still there for football club. Rumble goes in to add some weight to it, but it looks as if it might have been turned over here by the French. The referee is happy enough with that, but uh, not happy with the offside by the football club players and an opportunity spurn, Ben. Yeah, good stuff there by now, Rarak showing it. His uh, dancing feet there to do, uh, put put a few uh, Gavacar players on, the, on their backsides, but unfortunately not to convert in the end. Uh, looked like they just needed a few numbers at the breakdown just to uh, to uh, put, put 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 a few points on the board. So another opportunity though for football club, in ball in hand and uh, driving forward, big figure in there of uh, Jeff Hadley. And another infringement by Gavacal, and an opportunity here once again for Football Club. Ooh, Rumble runs into a really big hit there. That, and, and that was uh, Four Fourger, and the ball's out wide. The opportunity here tries a dummy, great tackle across, and uh, that was Angus Cameron. And looks as if uh, the Gavacal have managed to protect the line again. Exciting encounter this one. We've got, uh, we've only got uh, one minute and 21 seconds left in this first half. And uh, we, football club, are camped down in the Gavacal half. It's an overthrow and it's Fourgier who gets it away. Good powerful run by Angus Cameron. Really good leg drive there. Out wide, ball inside, nice offload and Seven for the French is Jean-Baptiste Beriz. Through the hands, Angus Cameron, lo lovely stepping figure, scored the only try so far. And he, supported by Toby Fien, and the football club are 
a lot of pressure on that and managed to nullify that as we are 30 seconds left in this first half. And uh, number eight, the figure of Benjamin Davy enjoying the contest. But on that occasion, uh, the football club perhaps missing an opportunity to score. Yeah, club boy. I mean, the uh, Gavakar boys have no, no problem taking the ball up nice and hard at the, the centre of the pitch and got some very big, the classic French, uh, French, um, you know, toughness and they've no problem going down the middle. They, as we said, penalty of the football club and then that good all. So McNichol spins it wide, the ball's bounced out of play and an opportunity, I think the last opportunity of this first half. Yeah, right idea there. It was definitely on, I think, and uh, just unfortunate the ball didn't pop up just the way he'd like it to. David O'Hagan out wide for Natixas Football Club. And maybe one last opportunity here. It's the half -time but whistle. no last opportunity. So at halftime here at the GFI Hong Kong 10s in this uh, match between uh, the sides that were bottom of the respective groups, and it is uh, Gavacal 7 and Natixas nil Welcome back to the GFI Hong Kong 10s here at the football club in Hong Kong. The weather is vastly improved on the chilliness of uh, the first day, day one. And uh, we have the second of the ball quarterfinals. Second and at halftime half in this match, which is well pitched. The UBB Gavacals are leading by seven points to nil against the Texas Hong Kong Football Club, the hosts who were semi-finalists in the bowl last year. And Nigel Rark sporting a very, very substantial black eye, as you'll be able to see on the screen there. Good deep kick. Rougiers takes it. And uh, good retention there. That's uh, Fien. And a powerful run there by the big figure of Benjamin Davey. Again, Cameron this time playing that. Manages to find... Uh, we please have the captains for the next game. Stockholm Exiles up against the Devils Avenue. Julian Patti. RFC to the halfway line for the toss for the third ball for the So scrum now for an opportunity for football club. Matt Worley, youngster, one of the bright rising talents in Hong Kong. His first uh, tens tournament. And the French scrum looks strong and powerful and it's Worley, good burst, looks as if he's got the uh, good on lay and great defending. That's ball's gone forward, Alfonsi, ball went forward. Great run though by Worley and a fantastic tackle. Yeah, good little burst out there by Wally, showing the spark that the football club needed and uh, just unfortunately couldn't get the ball back into hand. So a close thing for Natixis Football Club. Wally, the scrum half, up against uh, Valley's scrum half. And that will be quite a contest. 
the scrum going backwards once again and it's not a straight put in and it's a free kick and it's clear the Gavacal scrum has the, the strength and that was a decent tackle pulled down there by West good step Angus Cameron great skills great talent Find space, runs into a bit of a, a bit of a dead end on that occasion though, but he manages to retain possession and Gavacal. And they've lost it, no support, and it's been kicked downfield and an opportunity now. None of the football club players are there close, and it's an opportunity for Davy to charge it back up. He's pulled down though by Rark. Good challenge. And the small sniping figure of uh, Toby Fien, and pulled down in the midfield is the large figure of Dane James. Referee judging no release in the tackle, and the Gavacal side struggling from minor infringements. <laughs> so, Worley has the, uh, gives it inside. Pass through the hands there by the big figure of Jeff Hadley. But again, in the breakdown, football club struggling to retain possession and the uh, penalty goes to the UBB Gavacal. Yeah, the club boys just being a bit bit, bit lazy the, at the breakdown, they're just not, not getting enough numbers there and Gavacal just absolutely swarming and creating all sorts of problems for the, uh, for the uh, football club breakdown and uh, it shows with that, uh, the turnover just then. So Gavacal with a seven point lead. We have uh, six minutes left of this uh, first half. The referee can reconfirming that uh, holding on and uh, the UBB Gavacal take the line out. And down here at uh, Sports Road, the uh, the atmosphere very slowly warming up. The crowd just beginning to, to come in. This only being the second game of the morning, the, uh, the ball quarterfinal, the second ball quarterfinal. But it's a fairly evenly matched contest between the French side stacked with some Valley players and one or two uh, football club players against football club, the home side. And uh, it's a good rolling mall here. On the back of that is Vincent Fourgouze. He spins off, opportunity offload, and football club look as if they've conceded one in there. Go. Toby Gavacal Fien, second try. Well worked through set piece. and that's a fine try. It's and kick to come. Opportunity, Toby Fien there, a picture of him. And again, good rolling mall. Football club struggled to control that, struggled to stop it, and it was well maneuvered. The offload by Fourgues and Fien lots of power and despite the attentions of the opposition able to get over and angus cameron has kicked the two points and that might be important Conversion in this so ubb, Gavical, UBB Gavical have a 14 points to lead against the home side natixis hong kong football club and now is the time for football club to pull something out of the hat because they really are losing a bit of touch on this match Cameron to start for the Gavacal. Turned out last season for Borneo Eagles. Had a very, very good tournament. It's a good challenge and, and pulling down the, uh, the figure of Doug McNichol on that occasion. The referee knock-ons, knock on knock <laughs> Scrum goes to football club, although it looked as if he might have bring, brought in a couple of uh, Cathy Jets the way he was waving around there. Yeah, no, I think uh, the, the football club player there just uh, appealing that the there was no advantage being played, but uh, clearly I think he was just trying to signal that there had been a few knock-ons and uh, the, the ball should come back for the original infringement. So, Ro Montenero the front row of that scrum it's been difficult for the uh, club scrum and Worley's been snagged at the bottom of the uh, the scrum and uh, it's turnover ball and an opportunity now for Gavacal Adam Davey driving through the center ball out wide finds Seb Alfonsi 
Rolling Mall begins, but it's pulled off there quick. Nicholas Chamonton offload to Dane James and the Gavacal beginning to make some territory ahead of steam here. Good, some good continuity held up that time. Cameron on that occasion, some complaints for not rolling away. The big figure of Thomas Lambouli goes into contact. Big pick up by Angus Cameron, smart, but he's dropped it forward and it's going to be a knock, a scrum. The football club unable to take advantage of that and uh, an opportunity there. That would have, that would have sealed this match, uh, Ben. Yeah, Gavacar taking route one very, very well and um, doing doing what the big the big French boys like best, and that's uh, taking it right up the middle. But just unfortunate not to be able to hold on to there. That Angus Cameron he probably kicking himself a little bit for that because that well and truly would have uh, put the put the game to rest. I think. So the referee is uh, administering some substitutions. That looks like. Uh, the figure of Pierce McKinley West coming on and uh, in place of the other youngster, Matt Worley. So another bright youngster coming into the fray. So one, the scrum has been a problem and once again it's going backwards and once again it's proved to be turnover ball and from close in the offload to a football club player fortuitously for football club and the referee judges Gavacal diving over the ball, sealing it off, and it's an opportunity now for Football Club to break out. On the far side there, McNichol isolated. Rumble takes it forward and is th thrown physically to the ground. West gets it outside. Grote, and a good Good run, but across the field and no territory made. Advantage is for the football club. And figure is 14 is Adam Grote again. Oh, big hit, big hit there by the figure. Big, powerful figure. And through the middle comes Davey. Offloads going on, Fouge. And it's out to Fien and Fien one-on-one. -on -one. Good defensive tackling by Number 14, who is Alex Groot, but looks as if it's all a little too late. And Friday with less than a minute to go now, it looks like the UBB Gavacal have won this game. They now lead by 19 points to nil. Difficult conversion from the side. Yeah, that, that phase of play had, had everything, didn't it? Went one, one end of the pitch to the other, right across from one side of the pitch to the other is just... Good, uh, good patient work in the end by the uh, Gavacar players to, to um, get the ball wide and what was in the end a fairly easy So result. the conversion, and it's just wide of that post. Conversion is unsuccessful, UBB. Gavacar so it looks as if this match is going to end with the UBB Gavacar winning by 19 points to nil against the Dixis Football Club, disappointing for the home side to be leaving the tournament this early in the tournament. But this is a top quality tournament and the, uh, the, the football club players have come up against a very good side that uh, in this bowl quarter final. And uh, having lost possession, uh, the Gavacal look as if they've got another opportunity here. Cameron dictating play in the midfield, couple of decent fans. Cameron goes over to protect the ball and it's Alfonsi, Fouge out wide, lovely spun pass, and the three out wide was Thomas Sukazi and couldn't take that throw. And that is the final.